Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to finish up our January, just journal January journal today. Just journal January journal, we're finishing up. Anyway, we're going to finish this up today, hopefully. I have done just a few things. I put this little belly band in, and I glued this little pocket on. I made this pocket on a video the other day, a um, couple of days ago, I think. And then we're just going to go through here and start adding things in pockets. I have gone ahead and backed some things just so that I'll have them ready. But I haven't done a lot. Let me look. I need a little tag for right here. Or a little card like this. Just something to tuck in there. That'll work. Let's trim it off. It's got a little bit of white around it. So that's what I am trying to do today. I've got about four journals that I need to finish. And so I thought while the sun was out, I'd try to get some things done. Alright, so we'll just stick that down in there. And then I want to stick one on this side too so that You'll be able to see that from both sides and it won't look like just white on this side. So there is another one. I think we can stick that one in there. Are you crafting today or are you working somewhere? What are you doing? Let me know. I have to find out. <laughs> oh me. I think I might put that little label on there. I've just got a few little labels pulled out over here. And I'm just going to add those wherever I see a little spot. Because basically right now what we're doing is just adding the embellishments. And we'll get the front done. Now I may have to do the front in a different video. I don't know. I don't know if we'll have time in this one or not. We'll, we'll see. Maybe. Uh, what do we want on this page? I don't know. I may just leave that page for journaling. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to skip that page for now. All right, we've got this tall pocket, and that tag will work well, but we need to cover it. Yeah. So let me set that up there. And grab some paper. I may cover it with that if I can get that bird on there. Yeah, I think I can. So, it has been a slow weekend around here. I didn't do anything yesterday, but I laid around like a yard dog and watched TV for a little bit and read for a little bit and worked on some different posts and things and end of month stuff. But I didn't, didn't do a whole lot, not out of my recliner. I just wanted to be lazy yesterday. And some of these tags and things I may stitch around, I don't know yet. I'm trying to decide if I want to stitch on all of these or not. I may on some of them anyway. Oh, Edith, you cut so crooked. Now I'm going to have to even up this side because I decided I wanted to go really crooked some reason. There we go. And then the back I think I'll leave as is because you can write on that. So let's lay that over there. We'll map that direction. Yeah, that bird went on there well, didn't it? And very little embellishing. <laughs> I think all I'm going to do is put a tag, not a tag, but a little label on there. So a lot of you asked me had, when I told you that Brooklyn was still sick, which she's feeling a whole lot better now, but um, a lot of you asked me had she been tested for celiac. Yes, she has, and it was all negative, thank goodness. Um, she just has a very weak... I don't know how to put it. She has a very weak 
stomach, I guess you could call it. Uh, more like mine, I guess, because I've always had stomach issues all of my life, as far back as I can remember. Even when I was a little kid, I can remember having stomach problems big time when I was just, you know, five and six years old and crying at night and all that. So I think it's just more of a hereditary thing because her nana's got it and her mama does too. So it's just one of those, one of those things. Our stomach's just not strong. As I've told you guys, every time I take medicine of any kind or change my medicine or take different vitamins, anything like that, I get a really, really upset stomach. So it, one of those little things that just my grandkids inherited and I wish they hadn't have, but they did. All right, let me get some seam binding. I'm gonna go ahead and put my seam binding in those as I go. That way I don't have to go back and add it or forget about it and not add it. But yes, yeah, she's feeling a lot better today. Um, they do have to watch what she eats because she has a, she has certain allergies and different things to like different dyes in food. So they do have to watch that kind of thing. And then she, she can't eat a lot of sweets. So they do kind of balance her diet out. But, you know, she's 10. Sometimes, sometimes she'll grab a cookie and eat it, and she shouldn't. But, you know, what do you do? I mean, let, let the kids enjoy their stuff for a little bit. But And not saying that that was what caused it. I don't know what that she ate something. But anyway, sometimes that, that triggers it. Okay, so I think that one's done. That can just be journaling room there. This little, we need a little tag in there. Just a little one. There we go. But she's a good girl when it comes to, um, you know, them telling her that, you know, Brooklyn, you can't have this today. Your stomach's already upset, so you're going to have to chill and not eat this kind of thing then she's real good about not she'll say if, if she comes over here and I don't know about it and I'll say well, Brooke do you want do you want some chocolate or something like that and she'll say no nanny I can't have it right now because my stomach is bothering me so she's good about that okay I would like to put a pocket there so let me see what I've done here. I've already backed some of these pockets, and then some of them I haven't. So let me see if I've got one that I have backed. Well, I'm back to this one, so I may just put that there. I think I'm going to cut this flap off, though. And then we'll cut a little pull in there. I like this, the colors in this pocket. And I don't know where this come from. I'm thinking that Betty sent it to me, I believe. Yeah, my doctor has tested me for just about every kind of everything that you can imagine. I'm trying to determine what my stomach problems are caused by. And it, it just, it's never anything in, in particular. Sometimes I can eat a pizza, a piece of pizza, doesn't bother me. Other times I can eat a piece of pizza and it kills me for like three days. So it's it's one of those things that you know he he can't pinpoint it because I don't react the same to any two foods or to any one food. So it's it's kind of got him puzzled too, but you know I just kind of watch what I eat and I try not to overindulge and sometimes that helps and then other times it doesn't. Mine is more of a, a nervous stomach, I think. And I'm, I'm thinking that may be kind of what Brooklyn's is. Because when she gets upset over something, she gets sick at her stomach every time. When her papa passed, she was sick at her stomach for about two weeks. So she just doesn't handle things like that well. Which, you know, none of us do. But Okay, I'm going to put that in there. And then I cut out some of these little, I, I really don't know what they are. I'm just going to call them tall journaling tags. 
And I'm just going to stick that in there behind that. It can just be another little journaling spot. Then we need a nice tag right here. And all of these tags and things that I have, that I have left over, they will go with the journal. I mean, look at this. I've got a ton already done, and I'm not going to need all of these, I know. So they will, they will go with the journal, for whoever who purchases the journal. And I think it's already been spoken for. Um, Miss Gail, if you still want it, you just let me know. I know you spoke first. But if you don't, that's fine. Uh, somebody else can get in line, no problem. But I'm thinking that you spoke for it first. It's been a, been a day or two, but, you know, I can't remember anything. So I'm going to put a couple of these tags in here, or little journaling cards. Some of these I backed with this lacy paper. So those will, that'll work. And let's put a little something right here. I like that. It's got that little pink rose on there this is another one of katie's labels and they're they're the freebies that are in our on our blog and if you go to our website and then just find the little tab over here on the left hand side that says blog if you just click on it you will go straight over to the blog and see all the freebies Nope, don't, don't want yellow. I just happen to see that laying there. I've got so much laying around on my desk, I can't tell what's what. Let's see. I may leave that for now. I don't know. I might come back and add something to it later. Okay, here we need another tall tag. And I back this. This is one of those, I guess it's a check, like maybe. I don't know. I can't read it because it's in a different language. I think it's in... Uh, French, maybe? But I backed this, and I thought I could just fold it and tuck it in one of these pockets. So let's do that on here. Be nice if I folded it straight, wouldn't it? Okay. All right, I'm going to tuck that there. Let's see. I think I want this little tag that says special delivery because to me it looks like that little bird's getting ready to fly off and deliver something. <laughs> Maybe a seed, but he's getting ready to fly off. Now these are various kits in here that I have put together. I don't necessarily go by one particular kit. If they match, anywhere near match, then I'll, I'll add them together. It doesn't bother me. So these are, I don't know, two or three different kits. Okay, we need something there. And I've got lots of these tags, so I could add those in. And I'm thinking that I want to, yeah, that pink one and that. And I went ahead and backed this portion of this a letter. This is this was like a part of an a letter. And let's see if it's got a date on here. Well, it's Paris, uh, 1901, I think maybe. I think that's what it is. So I'm gonna fold it. I think it should be dry now. I'm going to fold it up and we will put that in behind these. And then I'm just going to take my ink and around where I folded it, I'm just going to put ink on there. And what that does is when it's unfolded, it looks like it's been folded for a long, long time. So we'll stuff that right there. Put those little tags in there. Now you could punch holes in these tags and put seam binding. I'm going to include seam binding in the little package that goes with this. But for now I'm going to leave them because the person who gets it may not want that. So let's see. What else do we want to put on here? I don't know. I may just put some lace on that page. 
here. I do think I want something on here. I may just put that tag there. Remember, these are the tags that have that side tuck, little hidden space in the side that we made of Molina's. And I think that would be cute there. We could always leave this side open for a, another little tuck. And then we could leave it open here and you could have a tuck. Is that what we want to do? You guys let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I think so. I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to glue right up through here. Oops. No, not down through there, Edith. You won't have a tuck if you glue that. Goofy woofy. Just glue up through there. And then I'm going to lay this down. And I'm just going to bring it even, close to even, with this side here. I think right here I will glue this down. Just because if I don't, that's going to that's gonna be kind of a tight pocket to get anything in and out of. So I'll just glue that down. That will give it extra strength. And then over here, we'll leave this open. And you can put another little tuck in there. And I should have punched my little opening before I glued it down and I didn't punch it now cut out some of that in January but that's okay we've got January on more than one page so that's not a problem what about this lovely lady she'll work put that in there and then that I'll leave you can write on that if you want you can write over here we do need a big no we don't yeah we do we need a big tag for the side tuck. I, I almost forgot that I had put that there. So I have this that I went ahead and backed with some stiffer cardboard or cardboard um, paper. So we may just use that. Let me see how big. I think it's. I just need to cut some of it off the length. I just used a cardstock on the back. That's what I was trying to say. I didn't really get all that out, did I? That fit. But I may have to trim some off the other way because it's going to stick out quite a bit if I don't. So let's trim some off of this edge over here. Okay, and that should work. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little tab, I think, right there. So let's see. Okay. What I have this little doily. It's a little piece of a doily. And I think I'll glue that there. Just glue it right there. It's like the inside of a doily. All right. I'm going to leave that out until that dries completely because I don't want to stick it down to the page in there. Now, this page, let's see. I don't know what I'm going to do here. It, this is the center of it. I'm thinking I might put some lace up there. So what about a piece of that? That's pretty. Whoops. Stuck to my finger. Sorry about that. Somehow I just jerked the camera almost off of my tripod. Now, if you want to, you can tuck some things up under there if you wanted to and I'll put extra things in the, the little kit so if you want to you can I don't know if I will right now though but you can always do that I'm gonna leave that to dry so I'm not gonna press it real hard all right on the this one I'll leave for journaling on the back of this let's see I might leave it for journaling I might put that little thing right there I'm really, really bad about, I want to put something on every page. And I know that's not what you're supposed to do. Well, there is no supposed to. That's not what a lot of people do, I should say. But I'm, I just like having a good stuffed full journal. And I just put the glue on the wrong side. I like for my journals to be really fat and sassy and then you can tuck something there if you want when that dries all right here we need a tag that's pretty 
and this is a journaling uh, journaling card. This is an, is an old postcard right there. And then I have more old postcards that I probably will insert in here or either just put in the package. I have a lot of them and I went ahead and backed them. And I just purchased these off of Etsy and I couldn't tell you who. It's been a while ago. So um, you can just go over there and type in vintage postcards. Okay, this is the old design shop. That's where that come from. It has a label up there, actually. I wish all the designers would put labels on their pages, on each one of their pages. Somewhere, it makes it so much easier. Well, not the pages that you're going to use in journals, because that would be kind of bad. But on ephemera pages. That way we know who they come from, because it can't depend on my memory. Okay, so then we can tuck that in back there. There we go. And then this, you can tuck something under. Like that. You can tuck a little ticket or something under there. Or, the, or that clock. Or lots of different things. Let's see. You could tuck that under there. Which I wouldn't that because I've got one of those on the other page. There's a public library card. You could tuck that under there. I, think I might just leave that there. I'm going to trim off a little of this white. And then this page. This page is going to have to have a pocket or something because you can't really write on that. Because it's a little bit too... I don't know. It's too something to write on. But what? I got a bird over here. I don't need a bird. That one's not so bad. Now that's one of the pockets that we made the other day from Rachel's um, video. And even though it's got black, it's got the roses in it. So I may just put that there. I don't mind that. That's what we make the ephemera for, isn't it? It's to use it. And I like it when I've already got ephemera made up. It makes your journals go so much faster. And it doesn't have to match perfectly. It can match, but it doesn't have to be exact. Some people will not use anything in their journals unless it comes from the same kit. Not me. That's... I don't mind mixing kits up you know I've got some of Hello Susan in here some of Betty's uh, some of the what was that the old something shop I've got some of Lynn Art Designs in here I mean I've got and then this is scrapbook paper I've got some of all of it and I don't mind it I don't mind it at all hopefully other people feel the same way I do I hope Okay, now this is a little clip that I want to say e -paper -E made this for me. I'm not 100% sure. If you made it, leave me a comment below and let me know. And I think I may come back later. I have some of these. Like I have that little page and this little page, just a document page. I'll tear these out. Let's, let's just do it now instead of coming back later and do it. Um, I may just tuck one of those in there. And here again, I just purchased these off of Etsy. Don't know when. Don't know from whom. <laughs> and then again, hmm, I wonder. Now, I don't think these are, I don't think these are Betty's. I think I purchased these from somebody. I just go over there and scroll through and look. And we want this to look like a really old document. So I'll show you what I do. I just take a little bit, fold it, put a little ink on there. Fold a different way, put a little ink on there. Do it like that. Then I crinkle it just a little. Straighten it back out. And there's an old document. 
To me, it's an old document. Looks like one. Looks like it's been around a while. So, that makes it look more like an original instead of just a copy of. And then I'm just going to tuck that in right there. Right under that. I like that. Okay, this side we'll leave that for journaling. Here we need to put something in this little pocket. I also have these little um, checks and these were made by Betty and they're on her Etsy store. And they're copies of just really, really vintage old check stubs or checks. Like this one is, uh, looks like 1919 maybe. This one's 1892, 1889. So they're really old and vintage. And she has them in her store now. And I know I could be cutting this with my trimmer. Sometimes I like to just use my scissors and feel that paper cutting. I had a lady one time that said she had watched me and she had watched Tina from Shappy Dappy Doodah. Now Tina doesn't use a cutter at all. I've never seen her pull out a cutter. She always cuts everything with her scissors. Well, this lady watched her, and then she watched me, and I was cutting with my scissors, and she said, I do not understand you people. You have trimmers, and you don't use them. You use your scissors. Well, sometimes it's just a preference. I, some days, I like to hear that sound of the cutting of the paper. So, I think it's all a personal preference, whatever you like. Okay? I'm just going to stuff those three right in there now this little pocket is kind of open so what I'm gonna do to keep it from being so loose is I'm putting just a little dot of glue right there on the edge and that will hold that pocket a little bit tighter so it'll hold those checks in there Now you could always put something here on this side I may come back and do that later okay and then this we have a side tuck pocket what about if we go with these two? We'll put two of them in there. But I'm going to round the corners and then ink them and make them look a little bit different than some of the others that we have used in here. I think I'm going to have a ton <laughs> of ephemera and tags and things left over when I finish this. So every who gets this is going to get lots and lots of goodies. Okay, we'll tuck that there. And then that one, and I'll just leave them at different angles like that, or different heights. Okay. And see, that's a Hello Susan paper, and I, I love it with this. It works fine as far as I'm concerned. All right, we'll leave, let's see, we left that side. Let's don't leave this side for journaling, too. Okay, this is a little wraparound pocket that we made uh, from Rachel's tutorial. And I'm thinking that I might put that on there. I don't mind all of that together. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue down through here. Down the bottom. Up that seam. And then up that way. And see, it's got another little pocket right there that we can tuck some things in, too. So now you have a pocket up here at the top, which I won't put that tag in there because it's too blendy. You have a pocket up here. And then, let's see, I got this side.
Then you got this little pocket that you can just stick some things in. I was trying to say tuck and stick at the same time, and it wouldn't come out. Stick it. <laughs> <laughs> oh me stuck stick a stuck let's see I'm trying to find another smaller little piece of ephemera we could put that in there let's trim that out okay tuck that down in there there's that one and then this has got a little tag already in it but I think I want to put something else behind it and I'm just thinking about one of these little rose cards let's do that that side will leave for journaling here let's see what shall we put here okay i'm thinking about this little pocket here this is another pocket that we made the other day by i think it was one of rachel's videos i like the colors with that background and it opens up and it has a tag already in there and I just put this little clip on it. You don't have to put a clip on it, but I thought it was cute. Well, if I can get it back on there, it would be cute. There we go. Okay, so that's finished. And then uh, we need a something to tuck in here. Let's try that. That will work. This is one of the little tags that we made of Melina. It's a tag with a cluster in the middle. I need to glue right there. I thought something felt loose. So, and then a little cluster sticks out just a little bit. I think we need something else up here though, don't you? Let's put that little label right there. There we go. And then that can be left for journaling. Let's put one of these on here, on this page. This is what we made, I guess it was Saturday, maybe, from Rachel's tutorial. I know, I've got Rachel Molina, Rachel Molina. I uh, don't know which one I want to put on there. I'm telling you, if you join in on these challenges, you get lots of ephemera made. And it's a lot of fun, too. All right, let's see about this one. Be blue or there. I think that'll work. Okay, now we'll show you how to put these down. Since we made them, I had a couple of people that said, I don't understand how you use those. Well, here you go. I'm just going to put glue right here down the little fold and on this. And then it's going to go in like this. And then fold over and you get it right up against your paper so that it doesn't stick out any make sure that it, that fold comes right up against that okay and then this flips out you can journal here journal here and then you put a big long tag in there then on this side you've got a tuck pocket that you can tuck something in so we need a big tag for this. So I'll make a tag for that. On this side, we could tuck just about anything under here. Uh-oh. I don't need to be tucking until I get the glue dries well, though. Let's see. We could tuck that under. We could tuck a couple of postcards, so I'll cut those out and put those under there. So let's do that. I'm going to leave it until it dries well. And right here, we need a little tag to go in there. And see, I glued this part uh, together. I'm going to glue right down through there, right down through there. I'm going to glue that gusset together so that I just have that pocket. Yep, that one's the right size. So all we need to do is put some paper over it. So we'll cover that. Let's just use the other part of that. And I probably need to use my glue stick because this paper is just copy paper. I'm pressing too hard on my glue. Oh, I didn't put that up. No, I didn't. I started to say, oh my goodness, I put that upside down. No, but I got that white on the edge of that. Well, foot. Uh, okay, we'll fix it. We'll put a piece of washi or something down through there. Not a problem. I also got glue 
all over it. Just grab my washi. I'm going to get my skinny washi. I love this washi. It's very thin and it almost looks like a tape that you can see through, like an old tape. I love it. There we go. Problem solved. So don't fret if you mess up like that, like I did. Just cover it up with something. Okay, let's go ahead and punch our hole. Now I think I'm going to cover the back of this, but I will cover it a little bit later, not right this minute, because I don't really care for that white. I want to cover it with some coffee dyed paper. So right now, we'll just be concerned about the front, and we'll do the back later. Okay, we have another little tag. Not tag, label, Edith. I'll put it right there. And I don't think that needs anything else. And we'll tuck that down in there, and then I'll try my best to remember that it needs some seam binding and the back covered so I'll do that later um, I'm not going to cover my birds on this side even though one of them looks like it's hanging upside down this one's hanging right side up so um, but I am going to put something here I'm really really thinking about just putting that little lace and fabric swatch there and then the person that gets it can, you know, cut pieces of this off or use it whatever, which way they want to. But I like that. We're going to leave that. And then on this side, you could always tuck something in there if you wanted to. Like that. Okay, so this page. Um, we have, well, got birds over here. We don't want more birds on that side. Well, I do want more birds, but I don't need more birds on that side. So what about just that one with the dragonfly? That'll be another tall pocket, but that's okay. I don't mind tall pockets. I just It's just hard for me to leave a page like this completely blank. I know you've got to have writing room, and this has plenty of writing room in it, but, you know, that's also what your tags and your pages and things that I stick in there are all about too. Well, I was about to brag on myself and then I decided I messed up anyway. Um, I was going actually pretty straight with my glue and then all of a sudden it went wild. Okay, so there's another pocket and I'm just going to grab one of these tags and just do that for now just so I'll remember to cover that tag. And we could put bloom on there. Let's put bloom down there. And just put it at a little angle. And let's see. Let's grab a little number and put it up here. I've got to have my number in here somewhere, so might as well put it here. There is that for now. Um, this side we may leave for journaling and I may put a piece of lace down the edge. Now this book page is very fragile and on the front part of it I did put some paper down through here because it is so fragile. And I think I might do the same thing here. Um, if I can find a piece of paper that's long enough. That one's long enough. I'll just tear a piece and put it down the edge. You could also put washi, uh, different things. Okay, now, just to protect this page, I am going to, let me think how I want to do this. I think I'm just going to tear down like this. I want to get that rose on there. Perfect size. And then I'll just trim off this over here. 
I could have cut that in the beginning, couldn't I? Oh well. You know I do things the hard way most days. And I'm not going to let this be a tuck or anything like that. I'm just going to glue it all the way down just so that it'll reinforce this page. Because I don't want this page falling out. Somebody gets it. I've already reinforced the edges of it over here with washi. But I just wanted to put something here on the edge. So that when you're turning it, you know, it's not so fragile. I like that. And then we could also put our little clock up there. I don't mind that either. Let's do that. Let's grab a little piece of lace and just hang it down through there and put our clock on top of it. How's that sound? There we go. And then oh, I like that. Got a little piece of lace there. Oh, I like that. Okay. Flip it. And what do we have over here? Whoops. We've got the back of the book page here. And I think on this back part, I may just run some washi down through there. Since I have that lace on the other side, I think I'll just put a piece of washi down through there. Yeah, that, that reinforces it. And then down here on the bottom, it's got a little crack right there, so I'm going to do the same thing. And just run a little piece of washi. Like that. Okay. So that's that page. This page, did we leave that open? No, we did not. Okay. I think I'll leave that. You can journal there. Um, this one, same thing. You can journal on that. We do need another tall pocket here. So I'm just going to stick that in there so I'll remember. But we need some kind of label or something on here, don't we? I think I'll glue that little piece of lace down there. It's just a lace flower. See what side's the top. I don't know. They both look the same. Let's just put that lovely on there. These are the labels that come with, let's see. I think these come with the e-club kit for January, I believe. But Betty has also made labels for this junk journal January, and they're the freebie over on our blog, which is linked from our website. So you can go over there and grab those if you want to. All right. And then on this side, we need a little tag. I've got so much glue on me. Might just use that one there. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put this flower down. Even though it is yellow. I just keep wanting to put it down. So I think I'm going to. I think all color flowers go together anyway, don't you? If I can pick it up. And we'll put this little label there. Ooh, 
oops wait till the glue sticks i love that that's cute um we need something here on this one but i may come back to that and i also need something here so I've got a few more pages to do, not many, and then I'll have this completed. So I'll probably complete, I'm, all I've got is that right there. I'll probably complete this off camera and then I'll come back and do a final flip through. And then you guys can see what little, what little extra I did to it. It's not going to be a lot because um, y'all are seeing basically what I'm doing here. So it's not going to be a ton of extra things. I'm just going to, you know, I'll probably stitch around some tags and I need to trim around that and ink around it. This one I'll leave as is. This one I'm definitely leaving as is, except maybe some lace. Here we may put another wrap around. We may put a little flip out here. I don't know. But anyway, that's all I'm going to do today on this video. And I will go ahead and finish this up off camera and then... I'll come back and do a final flip through and it'll be ready to go. And I'll show you all of the different extras I had left. Oh, and we'll we'll do the front. Maybe when I come back and do the final flip through, we will do the front together. We kind of put some lace and things on the front. But look, it's getting nice and chunky. I love it. I love it. The, the chunkier, the better. All right, guys, we will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.